All right. So uh, there were some some points brought up. Uh, one of the things I'd like to mention that was kind of glossed over a little bit was uh, this inequality, kind of the idea of the rich get richer and the poor get poorer. Um, according to Robert H. Frank from the New York Times, a flat tax would increase inequality by substantially reducing rates on the most prosperous households while increasing them on low and middle income households. He continues to, uh, he continues to say that according to an analysis by the Nonpartisan Tax Policy Center, uh, Mr. Kane, uh, Herman Kane, proposal would increase the annual tax bill of the typical family of four earning $50,000 a year by more than 5000 but it would reduce the taxes owed by a similar family earning between 500000 and a million by almost $60,000. That, to me, equals less money going to the government. Um, see, rich people just benefit. Uh, uh, Colette Meehan says that a uniform tax rate treats individuals and corporations fairly, but it eliminates a backup revenue source the extra dollars generated by taxing high income earners at a higher rate for the government. The government relies heavily on revenue generated from income taxes. Um, the rich will be paying less because, let's say right now, they're, the percentage they have to pay is 35. It'll go down to 20. That'll be them paying an overall less amount. And then, so that would be like taking like 100 pennies from 100 rich or 100 poor families and only like $10 from the rich. It doesn't equal out. Um, uh, in respect to the, uh, the uh, European countries that have adopted the flat tax, uh, many factors contribute to the growth of that nation. It is not solely uh, reliant on uh, the flat tax. That's not the only reason for their prosperity. Uh, and, and an interesting fact is the backers behind uh, flat tax bills are usually rich, so that just tells me a lot.